Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to analyze the plane strain component in ANSYS mechanical APDL. So one of the good examples of plane strain component is a pressure vessel which is a concentric hollow cylinder. Uh, so a plane strain is a, uh, is a condition where in which there is strain along x and y direction but no strain along z direction. Uh, because the length along the z direction is so long that any deviation in that length or any deformation is fairly negligible and can be neglected. So when the cross section is expanded at the midpoint it will look something like this. It has a major and minor circle with radial pressure acting. The minor circle's radius is 100 mm, the major circle's radius is 200 mm and a radial load of 100 Newton per mm square pressure is acting. So I'll be dividing this cross section into four equal components and I'll be analyzing only this one fourth of the hoop. So go to preferences, structural, preprocessor, add an element, uh, of solid, solid quad 4 node because it has symmetric properties. Go to options and select plane strain element behavior, close this. No need for real constants because there is no thickness. So go to material properties, material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. Consider 2 E5 as Young's modulus and 0.3 as Poisson's ratio. Exit this. Now go to modeling. Uh, so let's create a hoop go to create areas circles partial annulus um, origin at 0 0 the first radius is 100 mm the second radius is 200 mm 200 the first theta 0 the second theta 90 click ok go to meshing mesh tool click on smart size reduce it to 3 so that we can have finer mesh mesh select the area click ok so this has been meshed now go to loads uh, define loads apply now we need to apply boundary conditions so go to structural displacement symmetric boundary conditions on lines so you know what to select this and that line so that we are assuming this to be a quadrant and this will be reflected in the other three quadrants go to pressure the pressure will be acting along this line this arc actually so i'll just change the settings from work plane change active cs to cylindrical so that i will have pressure along the cylindrical direction but not in xy direction so the value of the pressure will be 100 Newton per mm square so that will be 100 click ok so the load is acting in cylindrical coordinates that is radial load now go to solution solve current load step click ok close to general post processor plot results deform shape deformed plus undeformed shape so this is the undeformed shape the blue one right there you can see the deformation is more at the inner inner circle so as we have seen the deformation is more at the inner circle rather compared to the outer circle now see stresses x component stresses so this might not be what you wanted to see uh, this is in Cartesian coordinate system so I'll just change the results option option for output change the global Cartesian to global cylindrical 
again read the values for stress I mean plot the values for stress so this is what you have here and yeah don't get fooled by the colors this blue stretch right over here has the maximum stress value compared to the red red this trap so for strains go to nodal solution let's see what's y component stress first of all it's the y component stress and the z component stress exists actually it exists this is the z component stress but as this is a plain strain problem there will be no strain in z direction this is the x this is the y strain the z strain will be zero yeah as we have expected this is zero now if you want list results you can just go to list results nodal solutions stresses strains df whatever you want you can get the solution at each and every node so that's all about this tutorial guys if you like it hit the like button and subscribe for more videos thank you